Welcome back to JSTU. Today I will show you how to open and uh, see basic interfaces of QGIS. Therefore, this is very vital and very important for absolute beginners, especially because uh, in today's era, QGIS is very uh, viral software which turns other commercial software uh, uh, types, so which is very very useful. Uh, uh, geospatial uh, tools and we will uh, get in touch uh, and we'll make uh, several uh, series of videos regarding QGIS so now uh, I have already installed QGIS so now let me go to as you can see here type here to search now let me write as QGIS QGIS so this is up then double click on this Yes, QGIS 3.28. As I told you in the previous video, it is a long term release. So you have to download. Okay, great. So this is uh, what uh, QGIS looks like. It says untitled project QGIS with extension QGIS because we don't uh, uh, save this. Uh, project it says untitled project means that there is no name so for stuffer if we want to see then go to project then click on uh, save as for example let me uh, save as overview of QGIS interface so click here so as you can see here is that we have overview of QGIS so uh, overview of QGIS interface this is a file name of that we have saved this uh, project if as you can see here is that this is a, a window uh, the working area uh, APSG 43 uh, 86 WGS80 for which is a project recording system so now click on new input project so this is a working area and this is a browser the browser panel you have C drive uh, and you we have D drive if you have another drive just like E F you will get just like that of uh, E C and D so this is uh, uh, the major uh, browser and uh, for example uh, if we have uh, dealing with multiple data sets we will have also another browser for example let us go to uh, view panels browser for example if we take this browser there is also another browser if if we go to view panels and untick this one because as uh, this case we don't want uh, the second browser the second browser so you can see here that you can get uh, everything in this browser everything so uh, if the browser panel is not working for example in in many cases it may disappear for example this is uh, the closing uh, button so let me close so this one if we get our uh, QGIS interface just like this always go to view go to panels then click on browser ok and the second one is for example layers layers go to editor panels uh, and layers yes layers if we add data uh, from this we uh, add data from uh, d drive or c drive or d uh, e drive from uh, where you want and if you add uh, data to this the layer is automatically appear uh, to this this is the data arrangement so uh, this is what uh, we have and this one is uh, the toolbars so you cut and other things uh, almost 
uh, passive or inactive. So therefore, because if we are uh, dealing with data or, or if we are uh, analysis, if we are analysis, uh, then there will uh, this panels where will be active, will be active. And uh, the other one is the basic tools. For example, uh, in uh, ArcGIS, there is a toolbox. So in uh, QGIS also there is processing toolbox, but we can't find this processing toolbox. We can't see here. So go to uh, view, go to panels, then processing toolbox. Click on processing toolbox. Yes, as you can see here is that. The cartography data, database, file uh, tools, each have its own functionality. We will see in the future of uh, our video. Therefore, this view, uh, this panel is very, very important. Very important. For example, GPS information, layer order, layer styling, long message overview, results viewer, uh, special bookmark manager, temporal controller, it's a so many so many for example let me take advanced digitizing yes there is advanced digitizing appearing here yes this one is advanced digitizing when we deal with so many vectors or when we are uh, dealing with so many uh, vectors uh, and shape files and shape files so uh, this is uh, the basic interfaces uh, the most important one is project. For example, you can create a new project or new from template. And this one is very important. Edit, undo, redo. And this one is very important. So redo map view. Uh, from this uh, panel is very important. The toolbars is uh, the second important one. As you know, uh, almost all, uh, for example, let me take this one. Yes, data management tools. Yes, this one, data management tools. So if you want to add data, you can add from this, from this browser. So uh, you can use uh, two methods to add uh, either raster or vector data. You can add from this. Yes, you can add from this, from your browser. Or just go to uh, this one, op open data source manager. Yes. For example, if you want to add vector or shape files, you can uh, select from your your yes your D or C drive. Yes. If you have uh, also raster, you can go as a same path. And uh, if you have uh, other programming language data sets, for example, Oracle SQL Server, you can connect with SQL Server by the way. So SQL Server data sets, Postgres uh, SQL data sets can be integrated with uh, QGIS, which is amazing, uh, amazing uh, interface of uh, QGIS. For example, GPS trackers, uh, routes, waypointers, you can also import from your file. Then when you import from your file, what is the feature type? Is it a waypoint, it is a route, or it is track? You can select and deselect based on your objective and based on your data type. So, Geo package, daily mini text. Daily mini text, for example, it is CSV, comma separated value. A raw point data can be accessed by using this daily mini text. And point cloud, from cloud source, you can also import. So there are uh, so many uh, types for but. Uh, for this purpose, we will see raster, vector, uh, delimit text, uh, GPS, and other important uh, important data set parameters in the future. So, two types of uh, data adding method is uh, used. The first one, just go to browser and select from this. And the second one, just go to the uh, data um, uh, source manager and uh, select from this. So this is uh, vector processing, raster processing, and uh, which is related to database. Data can be processed by database, web, mesh, uh, SCP, uh, semi-classification automatic uh, 
processing for example and we will see toolbox here is and uh, you can also go to uh, help menu and you can uh, write what you want uh, to get help from uh, QJS if you are new to this YouTube channel please uh, share uh, subscribe and comment so your comments and suggestions are very important for uh, providing and offering very uh, informative uh, topics and the titles in the future. This is what we have today. Thank you for watching.